Hey, I'm Jordan DeWild. You probably already know this, but drawing is so much fun. Think about all the places you see art in your life. The design on your cereal box, the cartoons you watch, characters in your video games, statues and murals in your city or town. These all started with an artist drawing an idea. Ah, uh, yeah. Drawing is something people do all over the world. Artists of different cultures and communities create great works of art, and many of them start by drawing. From ancient cave paintings to modern street art, artists draw to express themselves. And that's exactly what I want to help you do. I'm going to show you awesome tips and tricks so that you have more ways to express your unique ideas and stories through drawing. Now let's have some fun and jump into drawing. Have you ever noticed how things feel different? This rock is bumpy. This Velcro is rough. This blanket is soft. This plant is pokey. Ow! Hey plant, not cool. Everything in the world has a surface that looks and feels different. This is called texture. When you draw, you can give objects in your picture a more realistic look by adding texture. It might seem like a hard thing to do, but don't worry, I'll show you how. Let's start with this. Take off your shoe, get a crayon, and a blank piece of paper. Place the paper on the bottom of your shoe and rub the crown on it like this. See how it looks like your shoe's texture transferred to the paper? This happens because the surface of your shoe isn't smooth and flat. There are some parts that go up and some parts that go down. The crown hits the high parts and misses the low parts. It has texture. Cool, huh? Texture! You can do this with basically anything that has a surface. Find a brick, a stone, or a wooden surface in your home. Place the paper over the surface and rub the crown over it just like you did on your shoe. Pay attention to how they're different. Rubbing a crown on surfaces is fun and all, but you're probably wondering how would you ever draw that texture without doing the crown rubbing trick. Well, take a look at this brick wall drawing I made. On this picture, my brick wall is simply made up of lines and shapes without texture. It's basically a contour line drawing. But take a look at this brick wall. I've used my pencil to create a bumpy texture to help the rectangles look like real bricks. Which drawing do you think looks more realistic? Texture! That's right, I think so too. The trick to adding this texture was by adding stippling dots to represent some of the rough bumps and a few lines to represent cracks or sharp edges on the bricks. These simple details help make the drawing look much more realistic. Adding texture to your drawing helps the objects look more real. I bet there are a lot of things with great texture inside your house and out in your backyard. Walls, pillows, washcloths, tree bark, sand, pebbles. All of these items have a particular texture that can be turned into a drawing with cracks or lines to recreate the texture. There are even some objects like a pineapple where texture is made up of a repeating pattern. Find three things in your house or outside. It can be anything with a surface that feels cool. I want you to try and draw the texture of that surface by creating a pattern on your paper. If it helps, you can try and do a crown rubbing to look and see what the object's texture is on paper. I'm doing a pineapple. Then, next to your crown rubbing, try your best to redraw that texture. For this pineapple, I can see that the texture looks bumpy and rough. See how the bumps on the pineapple make a checkerboard-like pattern? I wonder what would happen if I made a checkerboard pattern like this. Hmm, that doesn't look too bad. How are you doing? I bet you're doing great. You're an artist. Adding texture to art is one of the best ways to make something more realistic. It gives pictures life because it looks like you could reach out and feel it. 